What's going on receivers? This is Coach Gav, and I want to give you an inside look to one of my camps that I did earlier this year. This was a camp in Tennessee. I did a collaboration camp with my guy, Ruben Branch. He runs a company called The Wideout Crew. We teamed up for a two-day camp, and one of the main focuses for day one was our V-cuts, aka our curl comeback break. So we wanted to start off with, with the progression. So the first drill, obviously setting the foundation, preparing them, then moving on to an intermediate V-cut drill, and then after that, allowing them to run the full route at full speed. So the first drill we started with was the burst and break drill, and this is a three-level drill. So you wanna set your cones up about five yards apart. You'll have your first cone five yards apart, and then you'll have your second cone five yards apart, and then your third cone five yards apart, so a total of 15 yards. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna work on running full speed to that first cone, and then what I like to say is burst, break, and coast. So they're gonna burst, they're gonna focus on suddenly dropping into the breakdown with no indicators, and then they're gonna coast. So I don't want them to take a super hard breakdown step, like a stutter step, but just decelerating, getting to the cone, slowing down quickly, and then just decelerating chest over knee, nose over toes. So then they're gonna reset, and they're gonna repeat that again. And when we work on these, this burst and break, I do not care what the arms do. It's more about the pad level and the suddenness of the drop. So they're then gonna repeat that one more time. And then after that, on the third drop, they're actually gonna run the top of the V cut. So practice rep one, practice rep two. And now on this third one, they're gonna go, they're gonna sink their hips, drop their weight, and they're gonna sprint out at a 45 degree angle and they're gonna get a catch. So now moving on from the burst and break drill, we're gonna turn things up a little more. The guys are finally fully warmed up. They now understand the technique that we're looking for, and we're gonna let them run around a little bit faster. So this is the racetrack drill. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have two cones, and you can you can set the distance for those cones as close and as far as you want. I We did anywhere from you know five to seven yards for ours, and what you want them to do is you're gonna have them do a 180 break around the first cone, and then on the second cone, you're gonna have them break at that 45 degree angle, AKA that V cut, AKA that curl comeback break. So the first break is more difficult because you're doing a 180. You're running straight, you're breaking down, and you have to turn back around and pretty much trace back down your line, although you're going around the cone, but it's, it's a tough turn. So you wanna make sure they have their chest over knee, nose over the toes, nice forward lean, and they're running their arms and feet the entire time. And once they make that 180 break, they're then gonna push vertical, they're gonna drop, and they're gonna run out at that 45 degree angle and get a catch. You'll notice that for this example, for the camp, we have two guys up at a time, so it's, it's kind of a fun competitive drill where they can race each other and try to get in and out as quickly as possible by also, and also maintain proper technique. So now progressing from the racetrack drill, we're gonna get into the full route at full speed. At the top of the route, we have a PVC setup, AKA a receiver arch. And the goal is to get the guys to stare down the top bar and at the last second, suddenly drop into your breakdown with no indicators. So when you're using these receiver arches and these, these PVC pipe, you wanna make sure that you're not ducking underneath the arch. You wanna make sure you're just taking your normal breakdown, but it's just something to look at and to drop under to keep your pad level low. Again, we're trying not to do a whole lot of coaching here, you know, really just allowing the guys to be athletes, kind of feeling it up themselves. If there was something that really stood out, we were obviously gonna correct it. And then there's me at the top where I'm chasing them to the football, which is going to force them to run out of the break and charge the football.